Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. My name is Rachel. It is the first day of my four week Yoga for Flexibility series for you guys. So that sounds like a mouthful, but it's really simple. We're gonna get flexible over the next four weeks. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna stay updated. And if you are, you've been here for a while, welcome. I'm so excited. I hope that you enjoy it. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if that is true. And let's get started, guys. Find a little bit of space to move and let's do this. All right, let's begin sitting down today. So find a comfy seated position. Um, since it's week one, and you probably can tell from the title of this video, we are focusing on the upper body this week. So we're still gonna do a nice little yoga flow, but uh, specifically kind of targeting the upper body. And we're still gonna get flexible even though we're kind of flowing through some poses. So if that sounds good, I'm gonna stop talking. Find a comfy seated position, bring your hands to your knees, and let your eyes close. We're gonna pull the shoulders up to the ears and roll them all the way back and down. Awesome, you guys do another shoulder roll and then just one more. Nice job, you guys. So sitting nice and tall through the spine, take another inhale and exhale. Start to turn your upper body over to the right side for a twist. Using an inhale, turning yourself to the front, exhale to the left, twist. Nice, you guys, use an inhale, turn yourself back to face the front, bring your hands to either side of you on the mat, and with a really big inhale, start to sweep your right arm up to the ceiling as you lean over to the side, stretching the side of the body, really reaching with the fingertips to bring length into that arm. You might even feel this with the shoulder. Use a big inhale to lift yourself up, sit tall, and then start to bring that left arm up and reach on over. Nice, you guys. So good. Use a nice big inhale. Lift yourself all the way back up. Bring your hands to your knees again. Roll the shoulders up to your ears, pulling them back and down. Perfect. We're going to bring our hands to the mat. So finding your hands and knees for a tabletop, spreading your fingers really wide. Bring your knees in so they're under your hips, nice and balanced. Using an inhale, start to drop your belly, lifting your chest your chin away from the collarbone, arching through the back, take another breath in, and use an exhale to round the spine, tuck the chin to the collarbone, push into your palms, inhale, drop the belly again, lift the heart and the chin, exhale to round through the spine, just warming up here, and using an inhale, dropping the heart or the belly and lifting the heart, Exhale, last one, squeezing the belly button and pushing into the palms. With an inhale, starting to come back to a nice flat back. All right, so we're gonna walk our hands a little bit away from us, kind of like we are coming into a puppy dog, because we're gonna do that in a second. But I want you guys to just kind of shift your weight forward so the knees can come forward, almost like you're coming into a plank, but not really, we don't wanna work too hard. And then you're gonna pull it all the way back and drop it down for your puppy dog. So inhale, lift on up, pull the shoulders forward, send the hips forward, and exhale. Drop the forehead, drop the chest, feeling this all through those shoulders, the arms, use an inhale, shifting forward, exhale, drop it on down. Nice, you guys, a few more movements like this. Inhale, bring those shoulders forward, and exhale, puppy dog stretch. Nice, you guys, one more, inhale, and exhale, lowering that chest. This is a nice prep for downward facing dog. So use an inhale, lift yourself back up, walk your hands in under your shoulders. We're gonna take our right foot and step it between our hands. So however you wanna get that right foot 
forwards. So we're finding a lunge bonus, even though we're focusing on the upper body today, we're still gonna get some nice hip flexor stretches. So set up your lunge, knees down, hips are sinking forwards, and then if you are able to bring the hands off of the mat, we're gonna lift that chest all the way up here. So take a moment to find the balance. Again, we're getting a lot of action in that left hip right now as we sink the hips forward, but we're gonna be reaching our arms out to either side. We're going to bring some arms into this, some upper body. You're going to just bring that right arm on top of the left one and then pull the palms together or place the palms together as best you can. You're wrapping you're your arms around one another and you're just going to lift the elbows. Eagle arms. If you're no eagle pose, these are the eagle arms and you're just going to drop the shoulders away from the ears. Nice work, you guys. With your next inhale, start to unwind. Reach your hands out to the sides. Exhale, place your hands back down on the mat. We're gonna slide that front foot back onto your hands and knees, and then the left foot is gonna come on forward, lunging on the other side. So take a moment, set up that nice lunge, get that nice hip flexor stretch on that, on that uh, right hip. I'm all excited today, you guys. I'm talking really fast and a lot, but I'll slow it down, I promise. <laughs> so sinking those hips forward, finding your balance, and again, if you wanna add those arms, reaching out, it'll be the left one coming over top of the right, palms together as much as you can, pick those elbows up, and drop the shoulders. Nice work, you guys. <sighs> finding the breath. Melting into it and with your next inhale, reaching your arms all the way out and dropping them down. We're going to bring that front foot back, slide that knee all the way back in, finding your hands and finding your knees. So we're just going to lift the knees off of the mat and we're going to walk our feet all the way up. So all the way to the top of your mat and then keep your feet about hip width apart. So we're gonna bend our knees a lot. So almost like you're using your, th your quads as a shelf for your upper body. So maybe your stomach and your chest are resting on your knees. And then let your head be really heavy. So we're getting a whole lot of release, a whole lot of length into that low back and into the spine. So you can let your arms be heavy let that head be really heavy, relaxing through the neck, and then maybe start to shift your weight from side to side. Nice, you guys. If you feel like you can keep the chest as close to your legs, your knees as you have them right now, but you can straighten your legs a little bit more, you can go there. But I want you to be nice to the low back, so keep a nice big bend in the knee, and then let the head be heavy. Awesome job, you guys. Folding forward. So we're going to start to come on out of this. So you're going to bend the knees a lot. If you can bend them so much that you can actually plant your hands, give it a try. If not, just start to walk your feet all the way back. However, you can gracefully do so and then lower your knees down again. So we're going to be bringing the right foot forward, finding the lunge, sinking the hips down and forward, getting into that hip again, and then coming back into the chest. So we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the low back, and you're gonna try and squeeze the palms together. So if you can interlace the fingers, maybe try and squeeze the palms together as well. You might feel that a little bit more in the chest and the shoulders. So if your hands are resting on your low, uh, low back or the back of your leg or your butt, just try and lift them up just a little bit, creating length through the arms, maybe more of a stretch to the chest, and then take your chin and just lift it up away from your collarbone, taking another big inhale and exhale, releasing your hands down, take your front foot and that knee, plant it on the mat, let's switch sides to so bring that left foot forward, setting up your lunge, and then lifting the chest when you're ready. Find your balance, and then we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the low back again, maybe squeezing the palms. 
a few breath here. So opportunity to create as much length through the arms, to open the heart, the chest, even the front of the neck might get a nice stretch as you lift the chin. Breathing wherever you are, staying for another inhale. And exhale, release your hands all the way down. Slide that front foot all the way back, you guys. Awesome job. We're gonna come onto our stomach, so lower down nice and slow. We're gonna bring our feet out a little bit wider than hip width apart. You're gonna keep your hands under the shoulders. So as you inhale, we're gonna lift the chest, Roll the shoulders back and down and hug your elbows into your side. So a cobra. Take another breath in and exhale. Lower your chest down. Inhale. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift the chest. Exhale. We're just going to keep moving from cobra and back down. But inhale as you lift, maybe growing a little taller. And exhale, slowly dropping the chest down. Inhale. Cobra, exhale to release. A few more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lower, nice and slow. Last one, inhale, and exhale. Awesome work, you guys. Slide your legs back together and push yourself up onto your hands and knees, however you wanna get there. If your wrists need a little break, just sit on your heels, do a few wrist circles, but we're gonna be coming back into that lunge. So you can bring your right foot forward whenever you're ready, sinking the hips to the front of the room, find that hip flexor stretch, and then we're gonna lift the chest up one last time. So we're gonna take a twist. So you're gonna turn your upper body towards the right. You don't have to go crazy far, just a little twist. Maybe the left hand wants to rest on the front knee. Maybe the right hand wants to grab onto the back leg. Twisting, sinking those hips down and forward. And then just bring your gaze over to the right side as well. Nice, you guys. With an inhale, turn yourself to face the front and then just take a little counter twist. So a little bit different. Nice, you guys. Inhale to face the front. Exhale, drop your hands. Slide that front foot all the way back. Wiggle those hips around if you need it. And then that left foot is coming forward. One last lunge. So sinking those hips forward and down, lifting the chest up, finding that nice balance, that nice hip flexor stretch, and then we're gonna take that twist. So just turning the upper body to face the left a little bit, looking in the direction you're facing, maybe adding your hands on the front knee, maybe on the back leg, only an option though. Nice job, you guys. With your next inhale, turn to face the front and exhale for your counter twist. Nice job. Inhale as you turn back to face the front. Exhale, drop your hands down. Slide that front leg all the way back. We're gonna find our hands and find our knees. Awesome, you guys. So we started with that puppy dog, kind of plank to puppy dog little flow. So we're gonna drop the chest and then lift on up as you inhale. Exhale, drop the chest, puppy dog, and inhale. Awesome, you guys. So we're gonna do a few more of these. If you want a little bit more, you can come into a full downward dog. So tuck your toes under. Our knees are gonna be nice and bent, so let those heels be off of the mat. They're nice and high. So we're gonna inhale and just kinda Send the shoulders forward a bit, lifting the head even. And then as you exhale, you're sending the shoulders back and you're dropping the head between the arms. Inhale, shift it forward a little bit. And exhale, keep those knees bent all about those shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, a little bit more work here. So if you need to drop to the knees, you can. Inhale. 
and exhale. One more, wherever you are. Inhale, exhale. Whew. Send those shoulders back to the bottom of the mat, and then nice and slow, bring your knees down. If they're lifted, slide your knees out nice and wide, and send your hips back towards your heels. Child's pose. Awesome work, you guys. So feel free to stay in child's pose a little bit longer. Or using an inhale to lift your forehead, lifting on up, having a seat, a comfortable seat, bringing your hands together at heart center, palms together. Awesome work today, you guys. So while we are getting more flexible, we're also getting our bodies nice and warm with these yoga flows for flexibility. <laughs> Good combination, right? So have a great rest of your day. Again, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And until we meet again on Wednesday, namaste.